Welcome back to Sen's Den of Sen. Uh, this is the follow-up video to the Nook Color um, Cyanogen Mod software. Uh, basically this is uh, showing you what the Nook Color is capable of when you start running custom firmware. What you see in front of you is of course a uh, standard issue Barnes & Noble Nook Color. Uh, features an 800 megahertz processor, uh, 8 gigs of onboard memory with about 5 gigs that's usable. Um, basically, you know, it's, it's a pretty straightforward ebook reader, has a fantastic color screen. I'm currently filming it uh, with my Sony CX110 uh, 1080p camcorder. So we should get some decent quality. Everything should be pretty much in focus, and I can zoom in if I need to. So basically, what you see is the stock Cyanogen mod configuration. I'm currently running nightly number 34. Um, that may not mean a whole lot to some of you, but it um, just means it's uh, build 34 on the nightly revision, so there's nothing super spectacular about it, but they are making great progress. What we see here is the uh, standard uh, Android uh, Surface, or S desktop if you want to call it that, the home page. As you can see, it's scrollable simply by touch. You can choose one of three uh, desktops in the default configuration. The launcher that I'm using is Zeem Launcher, Z-E-A-M. That's a great little interface. If we go and tap the settings icon, of course, we get uh, everything from wireless and networks to call settings, uh, which, unfortunately, this doesn't have any form of, uh, of uh, mobile radio other than Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So, go into Cyanogen Mod Settings, and we can actually tap the Performance uh, option. We're going to hit OK on the warning and then we're going to check out the uh, processor. The stock speed is 800 megahertz uh, on the Nook Color. This is for battery life, although the uh, chip that is in use actually uh, defaults to or originally shipped at 1.1 gigahertz. Cyanogen Mod includes a kernel that allows you to uh, default overclock to 925 megahertz, so that's what I've done. And I'm going to go ahead and set that on boot. My governor that I currently have is on demand. Basically, as an application needs it, it'll turn the uh, speed up. I have other governors, such as user uh, space. Uh, basically, the more I do, the faster it'll get, conservative and performance. I'm going to leave it at on demand for right now. We'll tap the back button on the top right. As you can see, there's a back button, there's a menu button, the clock, uh, battery, and Wi Fi. And then, of course, your standard Android uh, status bar and, and information here. The screen does rotate on this. Let's go back in and uh, check out the display. We do want um, rotation. And we want to turn on auto rotate screen. So we're going to back up here and we're going to make sure that all of our other settings are set in under the display tab. Auto rotate is enabled. So currently we're looking at it in portrait mode. And if I've done everything right, it should rotate. And it's going to make a fool of me. So we'll set that back down there and I'll figure it out later. Several applications that you can install from the Android market include the Nook Color Reader software. So we can take a look at one of the books that I'm currently reading. And as you'll notice, the screen got dim. And that's because my settings for that particular book are uh, to dim the screen. We're going to hit the Home button at the bottom, the Nook button. And we're going to check out uh, all of the applications that I currently have installed. This is a fresh install of the, uh, of the uh, Nightly 34, so it just has the applications that I backed up and chose to reinstall. One of the applications that I love to play is Pocket God. It's a fun little game. <clears throat> Basically, you get a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, little pygmy islanders that uh, worship you. And in this particular update, we have the double rainbow all the way across the sky. We'll add a few more pygmies to this one. And I can take these pygmies and I can pick them up. And I can swing them around. I can feed them to the shark if I want to. And uh, let's go ahead and add a rainbow to this. It's 
Yeah. They love the rainbow. Anyway, we'll hit the home button again. We'll go back to the default. We'll go back into the app drawer. We're going to fire up market here. As you can tell, it is the full Android market. You can find pretty much anything on the Android market that you want, uh, application-wise. So, for example, you can go to games. You can choose all games. And then you can tap top free games. And it'll show us all of the free games that you can play. 3D acceleration on this is actually pretty good. It's, it's pretty solid on the default settings. Um, unfortunately, the 3D game that I had on here prior to the reset, I have not reinstalled at this point. But it is something that we can put on there. And of course, everybody has heard of Angry Birds. So we'll go ahead and fire this up and... Uh, You'll be able to see Angry Birds in action. On a touch screen this size, it's very nice to play. This uh, features pinch to zoom, so as you can tell you can really zoom way out and then you can slingshot your bird over. Yeah, that's enough of Angry Birds, I just wanted to show you that you can play uh, some very nice games on this one. Knock all the damn dog hair off of here. Um, it's quite a few different uh, things that you can do with this. It is a full-fledged uh, tablet uh, capable of Bluetooth communications with many devices. Um, they're still working on getting Bluetooth microphones and headsets with mics to work, so that way you can use this for Skype calling and whatnot on a Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi network. But uh, once all of that's up and running, you'll be set to go. Of course, email, full Gmail access. So there's my inbox uh, browser. And of course, uh, the car forum that I like to hang out on, Pinnix Fiero forum. And this happens to be a thread on the Nook color. And again, pinch to zoom. And a couple of the other uh, features that you can find in here. Let's go back to the home page. Um, there, again, there's full 3D acceleration, so we'll fire up Google Earth. Excuse me. And it's pinch to zoom and two fingers to rotate. Uh, you can get Google Maps on here with location uh, settings with a Bluetooth GPS receiver and uh, a Bluetooth GPS application which is free on the market. You can run this as a full-fledged navigation uh, device. Uh, definitely great for people with some form of visual impairment uh, in vehicles. While they technically shouldn't be driving with a visual impairment like that, it really makes it nice for reading and, and quick navigation. You don't have to look at a tiny screen for long seconds in order to navigate. And we'll wait for the screen to load up a little bit here. I've been having trouble with my wireless router, so my Wi-Fi may have dropped. But we can zoom out, and of course, as you can tell, the 3D is actually working fantastically on it. I currently have a 16 uh, gig memory card installed in the back. I have it in a Barnes & Noble Nook Color uh, Flip cover with my uh, microfiber cleaning rag. Standard setup. Uh, memory card stores under the back here. Right there. This is held together with a magnet. Power button is on the left side at the top. Um, the right side has volume up, volume down, which can be remapped using custom software. And then of course your Nook Color home screen. 
and your USB port right in the middle on the bottom. It's a little bit heavier than most ebook readers. Battery life leads, leaves a little bit to be desired uh, compared to an e-ink reader and uh, it is even worse with the custom ROM but they are working on that as well and that's something that we're hoping to have resolved uh, within the next couple of weeks. So other than that, that's about it. Um, we'll do a long press, we'll add an item. We're going to add a clock to my uh, desk here under beautiful widgets and we're going to add a beautiful super clock as they call it. I want that one. Let's see if I can stick that on the top. There we go. And since I've already set the date uh, and time and then my location, it already picks up that we are in Menominee, Wisconsin. Um, it's currently uh, clear outside and 54 degrees. I hope you've enjoyed my little Nook Color tour. I plan on uh, doing some more when I get uh, modified software on here. Um, over the next couple of weeks, uh, as progress is made on the Cyanogen Mod 7 software, we'll... Uh, We'll get some more videos up and get some more information out there. Thank you for watching.